Okay, so we're playing a, a Vorion. This is, this is a hard fucking game to learn. Um, I've gotten some of the basics down. We're going to not push that button. <laughs> we're going to build a new ship here. As you slowly creep in front of me. Going with a Star Trek theme, so... I don't know... I'm not exactly sure what I want as far as... Do I want to just start out with like a smaller type ship, or... Uh, as many resources as we, as we have right now since I've been playing. Find the biggest, baddest motherfucker you can find. <laughs> well... You'd be surprised how fast you can die in this game. Yeah. And lose your ship. Most of these designs take trinium, and we don't have any of that. Right. Um, hey, there's one that takes nanite. I kind of like that one. Uh, 14,000 iron, 20,000 titanium, 53,000 nanite. Um, that's a good possibility there. Let's find a good tough ship. Mine's kind of like a heavily armored freighter. Oh yeah? See, I don't know what I'm doing, so I don't know if I'm picking a good ship or not. So I'm kind of just... Uh, since the update, you're going to want some cargo, cargo space, no matter what. Yeah. Um, well, and none of these show that. Really? Yeah. That, that I know of. I mean, am I, I'm just pretty simple um, to see here. <laughs> And just to let everybody know, well, these are workshop ships. Uh, I'm going with a Star Trek theme. Okay. So I want all my ships to go be Star Trek. I'm cycling yeah. through all these Star Trek ships, and I didn't say anything about that. So I was like, whoa, these are all base game ships? No, they're not. These are all workshop ships. Yeah, so ships. it only shows the material and money cost in here. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's okay. Um... I think I'm just gonna go with this one. Uh, where did it go? I like this one. It's very clean looking. Um, yeah. Okay, so we'll go with that one. Oh, except I have to repair it first. Oh, you probably damaged. Okay. Now we'll try that. Okay. That's nice. Bam. Okay. Um. Now I gotta remember. P. I'm not even kidding when I tell you that if you play this game, you're, you're gonna spend some time just trying to. Holy God, I've got a lot of turrets, or a lot of turret slots on this thing. <laughs> you put some systems in it, like. Not yet. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt myself there. Uh, you're gonna have a lot of of learning to do on this game, and I'm I'm still learning, so. Don't expect me to give you any tips because I don't have any. <laughs> I'm looking for your tips. Help me build the USS Stapler. Let's see here. What am I reading? Uh, hull, shields, blocks, blocks, volume. What am I looking for? I'm looking for total number of... I have five armed turret slots and zero... Uh, what's the difference between an armed and an unarmed? Unarmed is like mining turrets and salvaging turrets. Okay, so armed is like... What systems do you have equipped? This is the third tab. Systems. I have turret control systems, three turret control systems, I've got a radar upgrade, I've got a generator upgrade, and a hyperspace upgrade. Oh, that's it. it. Oh, how many slots total do you have? Uh, five? I've got 10 oh, turret fine. slots. Well, I mean uh, system slots. System. Yeah. Three, four, five, five, six. six. 
Six, okay. Six, and I've got a seventh if I get processing power of 5k. Yeah. Um, yeah, your systems are probably the most important part. Okay. They control how many turrets you can load or okay. how far it can jump or whatever and this... you want to specialize your ship in, that's what your systems do. Okay. Um, there is a exotic turret control system and it says it adds unarmed turret slots right so So i don't want that because that's going to add mining lasers yeah okay you want armed turret slots turret slots if you're if you're and all these are adding unarmed turret slots i don't think i have any really good Oh, there's there one. There's a there's blue a blue ones. one in here. Yeah. yeah. There's a blue one. I don't have any really great ones, but I have some, there's some blue ones. So I can just grab this and drag it and replace one that's already there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I'm and looking. okay. So once you get the systems you like, there okay. is an option to permanently install them. And well, yeah, I use the term permanent. Install loosely. permanently. If you go to an equipment dock, which there's one just over there, okay, you can do the permanent installation, which you get a bonus. So, you know, if it's a turret control system, it'll let you add even more arm turrets if you permanently install it. You just have to be within a certain range of an equipment dock to install or uninstall, or, well, to uninstall it. I think you can permanently install anywhere. Okay. So it says here arm turret slots plus three. Bonus for permanent installation plus one. So if I go yeah. permanently install this, it'll give me an extra turret. Yeah, an extra one. But if you ever want to take that off, you just have to be within close range of an equipment dock. Okay. You can take it off. It's not permanent permanent, it's just you can't take it off and change your loadout on the fly. On the fly, ever. okay. So I can install this without the equipment dock. I'm pretty sure you can. I'm All right, sure. let's try it. Uh, yes, you can. So you okay. can permanently install without an equipment dock, but you need an equipment dock to uninstall it. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, what else have we got? Um, so we need a generator upgrade to replace the generator upgrade we've got. Now, I don't need to worry about shields right now because I don't have shields. You have shields. I'm seeing them right now. Oh, I do? Okay. Shields are really fucking helpful. I always well, boost. that's. I don't even worry about hull. I just boost the fuck out of my shields. Okay. So let's put that in there. Let's install that one permanently. Um... Sucks a lot of power though. Make sure to keep an eye on your power consumption versus how much you're generating. Well, how do I know? Like, do I have. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. Where are shields? Okay, so shields 3.06 gigawatts. And how do I know my overall. Okay, produce energy required energy. Okay. Now, so keep in if, mind, your required energy will go up on systems that draw it, like, uh, uh, situational. So if your warp drive is depleted, for example, if you just make a jump, it's going to draw more power than your maximum consumption is right now. So it's always best to have a little extra. Okay. Have some in reserve. Okay. Right. Um, well, I think I'm going to put this shield booster in. Is that a good thing to put in? Yeah, if you got the power for it. Okay, so where does it show uh, energy so consumption is 0.74 gigawatts? Is that what I'm looking for? Right. Shield booster. Which, which is the shield booster? Energy to shield converter. What's that, uh, dude? Reroutes energy to shields. There's one that just like makes it recharge faster or something. I don't care about that. There's one. The other one just increases the com- shield capacity. Uh, recharge rate. Shield durability. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the one. So this doing. increases the shield durability by seventy percent and the shield recharge rate by ten percent. And then if you permanently install it, it gives you another thirty-five and five. So that's that. That to me sounds like a really good thing to have. 
Or am I crazy? Energy to shield converter. Yeah, that increases like it literally if you if you have a hundred thousand in shields and you put this one on, it's got seventy one percent more. You're in a hundred and seventy one thousand in shields instead. And think of those as hit points. Okay, so right now I have how do you tell how many shield points you have? Uh, go on your ship uh, menu of the first tab. Okay. You have hull and shields. Okay. Yeah, so 20, hit points. 20,566 hit points to shields. And I have my required energy is 19.32 gigawatts. And I don't know if that's what that stands for, but that is going to be referred to as gigawatts from now on. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what I want it to be, and and screw anyone that wants to argue with me. All right, so let's throw this shield booster right here. And let's take a look at it now. Okay, that took it up to 35,000 shield hit points. And go away, you little unhelpful bastards. Yeah, and 19 gigawatts is my required energy. What was that before? Because I don't think I paid attention to that. Hey! 20,000, so I lost 15,000 hit points. And... It took me just barely over 19 gigawatts. I'm at 18.35 right now. Okay. So let's throw a shield converter in. And see what that does. That gives me 36,500 hit points. So it gives me about a thousand more hit points on my shield. And it is not moving my required energy at all. Yeah. So I'm looking at this, and I just realized the shield booster has a, a bonus that when your shield's completely depleted, it automatically recharges it right back up to 35%. Like a, um, a what would you call that? Um, well, it's kind of like a chance on hit, but not really, because it happens every time. Oh, I so, see, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, they completely changed that. See, it used to be the difference between the two was one of those, all it did was it blocked more physical damage than rather than just increase the shield hit points. Well, to me, it makes more sense to use the booster. Uh, or am, yeah, I, being, I, so or am I being crazy? Okay. No, I absolutely agree. Okay, so we're going to put the I'm booster sorry, in there. they changed that. Mine. No, that's cool. That's cool. Let's we'll install that one permanently. Now, basically, the holy the balls. Is, Oh, you're getting back. Yeah. Take care of this guy here. I. <laughs> okay, so a little, little break here from the building. I'm just gonna take some head on torpedo shots there. Yeah, they're gone for now. Uh, Alright, back to the build menu. <laughs> a little, little sidetrack there. Okay. Um, so I wonder oh, if it would... It's a purple drop. Bad. Really? What was the it? The first one I've seen since I started the save. It's a system. It's a hyperspace system. Oh, wow. Nice. Legendary. Holy so shit, that's the first one I've seen... Right now I have 10, 11, 12 arm turret slots. A lot. Is, yeah, and that's what I want. I want this just... I want this gunboat. Yeah. Is that too much, though? Should I... Uh, that's a lot. And the only thing is, uh, what are you going to be you gonna, like jump around with pirates? Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of take the approach of um, shoot first and ask shoot first and ask later. Um, I want to do a little bit more um, like scavenging and 
Uh, I'm not really big into the mining. Like I'll, I'll, I've got an auto miner out there, and I'm gonna do that. But I want to be a little bit more militaristic, and I just want this. I just want this kind of right now a smaller, beefier ship. That's why I was going for so many turrets, turrets and a high shields, and maybe sacrifice some of the. Uh, you know, I can't get around as fast. You know, I can't jump as many times but I'm slowly coming for you basically <laughs> you know um, I well, may take me an hour to get there but when I get there I'm gonna blow your ass up the only thing is you need a, a decent uh, radar upgrade to see which sectors have mass in them okay that can help you locate where it's interesting all right so I'm going to permanently install that, and I think that's that is a hell of a uh, hyperspace upgrade you found. I know. You need to put that on your ship. Plus 14 jump range? Yeah, I don't know. It's the first legendary I've had drop in this save. Well, I think I'm going to go with this for now. Um, this gives me... A lot of turrets. This gives me a lot of shields, um, a decent amount of power, and the ability to spot things pretty far away. Uh, the only thing it doesn't give me is uh, the jump ranges, which is fine. Like I said, I'm not too worried about getting there fast. I just want to. Um, I want to be able to take stuff down pretty quickly. So now I need to um, get the rest of my turrets on here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. And actually, how do you take turrets off? Uh, it's a little weird. You have to middle mouse click them to select them and then hit delete. Hit delete? Yeah, you can just okay. use your. Use my what? Delete key. Okay. Uh, I don't know why it's different. So. Well, <laughs> the only reason that I, I even question that or not question it, but say anything about it is my delete key is kind of hard to find on this weird keyboard. Okay, let's start over with the turrets. So we're gonna do triple chain. Triple chain, triple chain. Okay. Now they don't all seem to be firing, or is that just me? Yeah, they're not all firing. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's because I don't have the proper crew. My bad. I know what I know what I did. Yeah, I know what I did. Gunners. I don't have enough gunners. Any yeah. station has crew that just has a kind of very different type of crew. Oh, the shipyard over here. You need gunners, right? Can I hire a crew without being over there? Or do I have to go over there? Uh, you have to be. So if you go down to that repair dock down there, they've got gunners if you want to. It's up to you. Where at? The repair dock. Uh, that's equipment dock. Ah, the repair dock, I see it. Um, They've got gunners. Okay. Well, I think if I can uh, I'll adjust my, I'll work on adjusting my controller scheme and getting that working a little better. And try to familiarize myself with the game. For me, playing a game, especially a new one, um, controls are controls and learning how the game is controlled is ninety percent of what I have to overcome. Um, and I'm sure other people are like this, but when I play a game, I get ingrained what keys do what, and it just takes me time to learn them. That's why when I switch from farm sim to the hunter. Call of the Wild, I'm constantly shooting my gun because that is the acceleration button on Farm Sim. So, yeah. 
I did that the other day. I, I don't know. I think it was... I don't think you were in this stream with me. Oh, uh, we have pirates down there. I was in there the other day, and I started to walk off the... Uh, walk away from the, the cabin. And I pulled the right trigger to walk. Oh. And I fired my gun and scared myself. Okay, before I do that, let's look and see how many I need. Crew. Okay, so I need... What did we decide? The first number is... How many you have? Yeah, the second number. How many you have? Six, how many you need? Okay. So I need a crap ton of engineers. Gunners. Mechanics. Okay. So, let's do this. See how that does for us. Your ship is unable to fly at full speed. Not all turrets are able to fire, so I still need more. Okay. Wow. Boy, I tell you what, having that many turrets, it really kills y'all and crew. I need 20. I, yeah, yeah. I just need to. I just need twenty four. Press the wrong thing there. Yeah, I only need eighteen. I need a little more turrets than me. I'll just hire all these general guys, the general workers. That'll help me out a lot. Okay. Uh, I need a few more crew and I'm good. But I hired everybody there that I could, so. But in the meantime, I can do this. Jesus Christ. You see that? Pretty good. <laughs> That's not even all of them. I still have turrets that are unmanned. That's insane. Oh! Oh, oh, oh god, oh god. Hit the station. Oh god. I've got to get used to that. <laughs> 